Hello friends, my name is Neeti Shukla. I am from SIIT Institute, CSID department. So today's topic is what is Python? In last lecture, I taught you about the basic idea of data science. What is data science? Now, in this lecture, I will explain what is Python. So let's start. So I will explain the features of Python one by one. The first feature is Python is an object-oriented language. In this, everything revolves around the object. What you create is an object. Just like in C++, we create a variables, right? X is equal to five, you know? But here we say X is a object. In Python, we say X is a object. Everything, what, what we create is an object, okay? So next is scripting language. Actually, uh, uh, Python is a very easy, easy language. Anna, uh, the code is very less. In less uh, lines, we can run uh, uh, big codes or big uh, programs. So it is able to accomplish a task in less lines of code if compared to a strictly programming language like C, C++, Java. It is an interpreted language. Next is it is an interpreted language. Uh, like C, C++ are compi and a compiler language, compiled language. But Python is interpreted language, it runs line by lines and does not stop if faces any error. So uh, next is Python is a high level language. Actually, Python is in between a lower and high level language. Since C++ are called lower level language, R and Python are called high level language. Actually, higher level languages are very easy for the user to learn, to understand, but tough to understand for the machines. Likewise, lower level languages are very tough for the users to learn and work, but easy to understand by the machines. And Python is lies somewhere in between higher and lower level language. But we can say that Python is a higher level language. Next is code readability, read karna, okay? So code ko read karna easier because it's a, it is simple English language and easy to read and interpret that language. So next is area of applications. There are various areas where we can uh, work on Pythons like networking, automation, web development, gaming, data science, lots, lots of areas. And all the data analysis work on Python, like YouTube, uh, lots of YouTube work on Python and lots of lots of areas, lots of gamings are uh, made in Python, games are made in Python. Now, next is the most important tool of a Python or feature of a Python that makes a Python strong is modules of the Python. We can say that packages of the Python, there are various packages used for various activities like uh, pandas, numpy, stats models, sklearn, tensorflow, matplot. These are the basic packages or modules of the Python. Like pandas are used for performed on data sets or on tables. When we have to perform on tables, we will use pandas. Pandas are called panel data analysis. When we have to work on arithmetic calculations, we use numpy or scipy. When we have to make a classic statistical models, we use stats models. When we want to use uh, uh, the cloud uh, neural network algorithms, work on deep uh, work on deep learning, then we'll use sklearn, scikit-learn, or TensorFlow. Matplot is used for making uh, for making charts and uh, uh, plottings. Uh, we have to make and some uh, we have to uh, make some analysis and we have to work on charts and uh, plots. Then we will use matplot. These are the uh, these packages are the strong points of Python. This these packages or modules make the Python strong. For different work, we have different packages. There are lots of packages in Python. We will learn all these in our next classes. So this is all today. In next class, I will 
explain you the data types in python and uh, uh, type conversion in python okay so thank you